next guest is a best-selling author in town for the Big Fork Art Festival. Marilyn Jacks joins us now live from our Kalispell studios to talk about her new book, Sapphire Trails. Nice to talk to you again, Marilyn. Welcome to Hi, town. Hi, Rob. Well, Pleasure to be with you in Montana. Well, you're a big fan of Montana, I know, and Sapphire Trails takes place up in the Flathead. Tell us about it. Uh, my third book in my series uh, my Caswell and Lombard series takes place in the Flathead Valley. Um, specifically, there's, there's a murder in Woods Bay, just outside of Big Fork. And uh, my, main, my main two characters, Claire Caswell and Gaston Guy Lombard, are visiting friends that own a lodge in the Big Fork area. Uh, and they're, they're from Miami, these investigators. And they're visiting their friends, and a murder takes place, and the local sheriff, the Lake County Sheriff, asks them to stay on and help assist with the investigation. And there's also um, some burglaries going on in the, the nearby Whitefish area, mm -hmm. and all the authorities assume that the two things are connected, the murder in Big Fork and the, the burglaries in Whitefish. And the investigators in my book do not believe there is a connection, and they go on to try to uh, determine who the, the killer is. How do you go about choosing a location, and why did you choose Big Fork? Well, I love Montana. Um, we always stay in the Big Fork area when we visit every summer, and we've been coming out here for about 12 years every mm -hmm. summer um, to vacation here. And I like to write about places I've been. And wherever I go, I see mystery. Uh, so wherever I travel, I, in my mind, I kind of conjure up a good, a good plot for a mystery. You haven't always been a writer. You used to be a, a state investigator. Is, did did that lend itself to your style of writing? I imagine quite, um, quite a bit. Absolutely, yes. I was a fraud investigator uh, for the state of Minnesota for 20 years. Wow. And during that time, I saw so many interesting, compelling um, cases, and I met a lot of intriguing people let's just say that i bet and well I, this and i always thought oh this these people or the, or this case would be great in in a novel someday let's talk about this weekend and where your fans can come and meet you and the book is is you you said that's not even on store shelves yet the ink's not even dry so will will fans uh, get a chance to purchase the book this weekend and meet you in person uh, they will. I will be at the big fork festival festival of the arts on saturday and sunday from uh, 9 to 4.30. That's a long days. shift. 9 to 4.30 on Saturday and Sunday. That's a long shift. Where, where, long about, shift. where will you be set up? Um, I will be um, right in downtown Big Fork. I won't know the exact location until just before the show starts. But if they wander the streets, there's Electric <laughs> Avenue and then one other avenue, they will find me there. You'll be out wandering as well. Look, look yes. for the lady holding the blue book, right? I, I will be yeah, I will be in you know under a tent. Okay, the good place to in be in my own space. It's it's supposed to be pretty warm uh, this weekend, so make sure you bring lots of fluids to drink. Uh, where That's will people be able to find your book, and and what type of person would be attracted to your your book as well? That's a very interesting question. Um, I write mysteries that are very compelling page turner type stories. They are not graphic and gory and bloody mm -hmm. types of mysteries, but they're just really interesting stories that the reader remembers long after they finish the last page. All right. Uh, readers, readers of all ages love my books, from teens on up, and male and female. Thanks for joining us so much this morning, and, and have a great time uh, visiting Montana, Marilyn. Thank you. Thank you, Rob. Good to be with you again. All right. Take care.